is out of here. It's turned off or unplugged. <laughs> okay! Uh oh, uh oh. Welcome everyone to the MGM channel. I'm your host Cornish, and uh, at the moment I've severely damaged my arm at work, so I'm kind of not going to be doing videos for a bit. But I'll be telling you with game reviews. So this this game we're going to be talking about is called Oxide Room 104. Oxide Room 104 is a motel escape game that, for me, is a lot of inspiration of Resident Evil games and Silent Hill for the room style. But first person, you play as Matthew. From the looks of things, he had a bad hit of a job, uh, which went wrong. He arrives at a hotel, then gets knocked out by a mysterious guy. Waking up in the bathtub, he has to try and escape from this weird hotel world with monsters looking around every corner. Now, I'll be quite honest with you, um, it's a weird little game. And uh, with, with the mistakes, which I'll get into the video later, um, you end up getting a leg cough. By well, looks of things on another world, but then you wake up into the weird world, which just gets worse as soon as you keep messing up. So let's start off with the gameplay. So it does have a lot of puzzles, and it also has a lot of pu um, punishment. So it has a lot of puzzles, but also has a lot of punishments in the game. Uh, each room around the motel you can check out for yourself, and each room will be different, which you will need to puzzle solve to try and progress through different areas, and also unlock keys to get into different apartments of the motel but if you mess up and if you die uh, the game kind of like takes notice of what you did and from what you made the mistake it you need to learn not to do the mistake again else it will remember if you try to do the same thing okay so when i die i have to start all over again okay uh, right forward. we need a really As with any research if you repeat the same experiment without changing any of the variables, you most likely get the same results. So, let's make some modifications. Don't worry. You only feel a small pinch. Oh, come on, mate! Come on, dude! Oh, come on! It's out of here. It's turned off or unplugged. Okay! Uh -oh. So the weapon you get will be a handgun, and for some random reason, you, it, melee weapons is really not accessible on here, which is weird. So bullets are very scared in the game, so you'll need to take out an individual enemy or stealth through different motels. So that way you can save some bullets. Handle every room with caution, or it can be fatal. So another thing I'd really like want to do a minor talk on is the visuals. Um, because it's very generic, like uh, the games we've been playing as of late, from like Tormented Souls and uh, Summer of 58 style. Um, it looks like it's using the same engine and I feel like it, it's a little bit meh, but it's still creative and rarely good. I really can't talk about these visuals because it feels like they're all the same these days and with this... It pretty much feels like that. However, the the game and the monsters very has uh, has a nice Silent Hill feel, which I don't mind. So really, not much on the visuals. It's a bit meh for me. Um, the audio, though, I'm pretty really impressed with the voice acting in the game. It's got a great tune, but again, like I said, when it comes to the whole game, it feels like it's like the same like Tormented Souls and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. It, like it feels alright, but it doesn't 100% cut it when it comes to the engine of the game and the voice acting it just feels a little bit off for me but with that being said here comes the next thing which is the puzzles because i gotta talk to you about the puzzles in this game it is very intense when it comes to puzzle solving on this game it has some puzzles where you have to examine like a resident evil style examination um there's also ho uh, motels that you'll need to puzzle solve with different key items the problem is you have to be at guard at all times when you go to different motels because if if say for instance you have a puzzle it'll mess up you may be fatal I, I gotta say with the overall the game is very interesting it's one of my lists of interesting um it's got some great puzzle solving and some consequences when you actually mess up it's really bad but the the thing why which 
caught me the most. It has that Silent Hill Zero inspiration when you're going around the motels. And, uh, you know, and playing it also reminded me of Resident Evil with the examining of items and stuff. The price itself, yeah, it's, it's not bad. It's about £18, but so in US dollars, I think $22. I don't know. But if it goes on offer, I would severely recommend this game for you guys. So just check it out and see what you think. From what I've seen on Twitter, the guy has worked very hard on this as, is, as a passion. And for any game developer that is very passionate about their game like this, um, it's very promising because who knows, in the future, you might make some even more interesting games. So that's my review on Oxide Room 104. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I'm currently injured. Um, I uh, have snapped the muscle of my arm. So I'm hoping to get back with videos and actually proper editing and camera. At the moment, I'm doing everything in one hand, so it's pretty hard. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe and see some more amazing reviews. We have so many good ones going on. And we also have a little bit of guides. Uh, not to mention Freedom Games. Uh, I'll be publishing loads more, which is the, the company that has powered MGN to make this happen. Uh, thank you for that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. You take care and have a wonderful day.